Hi, this is Bill Jenkins from WebLever Consulting Services. Thanks for signing up for Time Infusion. It's the solution for one-way syncing from Time Trade to Infusionsoft. So this quick guide will show you how to make a Time Trade account work with Time Fusion. You just received a setup complete email from Time Fusion announcing that your setup is complete, and it looks something like this email. This message has two important topics in it. The first is uh, information about your time trade account, which still needs additional setup activities before it's ready to go. And the second is at the end, information about your time fusion account, which has already been set up for you now. And we'll come back to that in a minute. First, let's look at uh, time trade. It's not ready yet, and you need to take some steps here. If you already have been using a time trade account, you must change the email address it knows you by uh, to the new timefusion.biz address that you received in the setup complete message. In this case, uh, this person, Peter Pan, with a email address of pp at weblever.com, has signed up for Time Fusion and received this assigned email address, time.aw20 at timefusion.biz. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Time Trade and we're going to log in because we've already got an account, Peter does, and it's PP. It uses his standard email address. Okay, we're logged in. We're going to go to the Admin tab and just click it. And then there's a new tab called underneath, and I'm going to take, take, take the one called Change Email. And this is a place where I can install that new email address that I received. So back in this message, I'm going to copy that email address. But notice, by the way, when I copied it, there's a blank space at the end. Time Trade does not like blank spaces at the end of email addresses. So there it is. When I paste it in, it's a blank space. I'm going to backspace over that. I'm going to put in my existing password. and submit. And that's going to cause my time trade email address, the email address it knows me by, to now be changed. And from this point forward, the way I log into time trade will be using this new email address. Also, the appointment confirmations that time trade sends to me will be sent to that email address. And while I'm here, I'm just going to go check and verify that, in fact, this box is checked under the appointment rules tab, indicating that I want to receive email confirmations. This is how Time Fusion finds out about new appointments. So now I, I'm done, and this is all set up in Time Trade. It's ready to go working with Time Fusion. If you're not yet using Time Trade and you need to set up a new Time Trade account, uh, that works too. You simply go to timetrade.com and choose uh, the personal product version. That's the free version. And when you uh, sign up your with your details, you'll want to use the uh, timefusion.biz email address that was provided in the setup complete message. And once again, backspace over that space at the end. Provide your name, uh, set up a password, and then click create my account. And at that point, time trade will be set up and working for you and we'll be sending its confirmation messages to this email address, which will work with Time Fusion. The other thing in the email, the setup complete email that you received, is that you have a Time Fusion account. This is the place where all your settings are and where there's lots of information about supporting your account. We can go to that and log in with our with the email address, our traditional email address, and use this password that's been assigned to us. So I copied that password. Let's go to sd123.customerhub.net, log in as Peter Pan, using that password. And at this account location, you can see there's menus for support and modifying my settings, additional information, FAQs and such. If you are a standard or a pro version user, this is where you'll come back to enter the additional configuration details to take advantage of the goal triggers that uh, you will want to set up for the campaigns that you've tied to Time Fusion. 
Thanks for following along, and I hope this has been helpful.